Good afternoon, everyone. I am Dr. Ray behind the camera. I'm here with Jerrica and Dr. Ian. We're gonna be performing some quick orthopedic tests to assess anterior snapping hip or iliopsoas bursitis or tendonitis. So our first couple of tests we're gonna be doing with our patients, that would be Jerrica in a supine fashion. So she's gonna be laying on her back on the table and Dr. Ian will be assessing the left hip. So points of the hip he's gonna be working on Jerrica. He's gonna be observing that hip. So we're gonna be doing a quick Thomas test, which is gonna be bringing the opposite leg and knee up towards the chest. And we're looking to see if that left hip rises up off the table. So let's give us an indication if that hip rises off the table, what it would look like, Jerrica. As he brings it up, we're looking to see if that knee raises off the table. That would be indicative of a hip flexor tightness on that left-hand side. Now we're gonna do what's called a modified Thomas test, sometimes referred to as a Kendall test. We're gonna be laying those legs off the table and we're doing the same test. We're bringing the uninvolved knee to the chest and we're also looking to see if either the knee rises off the table Let's show what the knee looks like rising off the table, Jerrica, which would be indicative of a tight hip flexor, specifically the psoas. If instead of the hip raising, the foot raises off the table, so that knee straightens, that might be indicative of a tight rectus femoris or the anterior part of that front leg. Now, we're gonna see if we can do a quick uh, test to um, rule in some hip impingement on the right side, uh, let's, uh, the left side right now. So we're gonna do what's called the fader test where we're gonna, I'm gonna swing around over here and we're gonna bring that knee up into flexion which means bringing the knee up towards the chest. We're gonna be bringing it into adduction which brings that knee in towards the body and we're gonna be slightly interning, ro internally rotating the knee. So it's called the fader test for flexion, adduction, and internal rotation. And we're looking for pain in the anterior portion of the hip. So if we bring that leg down, uh, can you show them where the pain would be with that one, Jerrica? It's gonna be pain on the anterior, which again, could be indicative of a tight hip flexor. It also can be indicative of osteoarthritis or maybe a labrum tear. Now we're going to flip the patient over nice and gently and we're going to do a couple of quick tests to back this up. Our primary test we're going to do in this regard is going to be, as I flip around here, it's going to be a quick, I'm going to call it the knee to buttocks test or an Eli's sign test. We're going to bring the involved leg up and what we're looking for is to see if that hip rotates upwards. So let's bring that back up again and we should be seeing that left buttocks kind of raise up and roll over to the side. And one more time, that buttocks rolls up and raises to the side. Again, that's gonna be an Eli's sign, which indicates again a tight hip flexor, specifically the rectus femoris. All right, we have three to four really good productive tests there to indicate snapping hip or a iliopsoas bursitis. And this is Dr. Ian, and there is Jerrica. Wave goodbye from Bradford Family Chiropractic.